I've been asked many times how I go about composing compositions, not only for uh, an ensemble or a quartet or a trio, but also solo guitar pieces. Uh, they seemingly come about with random um, segments or events that cause a stimulation that produces the output creatively productive. In the case of solo guitar, the stimulation doesn't always come from uh, a need on my behalf to compose a new piece. Sometimes it's an extension of the interaction with another individual as a, a guitar lesson, and in that lesson come certain chord forms and their resolutions that begin to evolve and, and um, progress over longer extensions of themselves. A great example is, uh, as I mentioned earlier in, in this segment or in this section, how certain compositions for quartets in a specific idiom, in a jazz idiom, were based upon the shapes of different chords like this seven sharp nine chord, turning into a composition right from itself. These kinds of compositions are on shapes. So too are some of the other compositions that have come about. In the beginning of the study itself was uh, the revelation that came from the parental form, one of the two parental forms, the augmented. Uh, one set of them, four of them, came from adjacent sets of lines of strings like this. The sixth, the fifth, and the fourth. Then the fifth, the fourth, and the third. Then the third, the, uh, the fourth, the third, and the second. And then the third, the second, and the first. Those were adjacent, in other words, numbers in a row. And then the non-adjacent sets turned into these. The sixth, the fourth, and the third, with the fifth dead, and the others dead as well. Then the fifth, the third, and the second. And then the fourth, the, the second, and the first. From one of these, a study for a specific student that was interested in the, the sixth, the fourth, and the third, that stage of study, on my behalf came a demonstration of that group of string set using the sixth, the fourth, and the third. From the example came this composition, I guess you call it. the lesson for that particular student. After the student left, each and every morning I get up and have a cup of coffee and I'll sit down with my guitar and I'll just go through at random ideas to come up and this idea continuously came up. <laughs> And that's what caused me to uh, continuously do this again and again. Up came another student some way down the line time-wise, uh, maybe a month or a month and a half later. And up came another study 
that uh, had uh, had a different set of of topics involved in it, and um, it was on a different string group, and and that caused an, another division of this, which ended. Uh, <laughs> And and that one turned into this set. successful in terms of stimulating those kinds of uh, procedures with uh, figuring out how to use certain string groups and, and, and never considering a composition and then afterwards seeing it completed as a whole and sounding like a, like, like a melody for a composition. One of the mornings where I'm having cup, a cup of coffee caused me to put the two together. And when this one, It happened here. The second, they, they were joined together with a coupling point, which was this. from E major to A minor. That continued until when that one reached this stage. that this is now, we're talking about three months of pleasures each and every time I played these second, these separate moments. And when it got to this,
all of these sections together, at least I do, and in time they begin to grow and evolve into a longer series. And of course this is done privately and once uh, performed publicly, it's taken for granted that it was composed as a guitar piece in, in a standard uh, uh, approach, which didn't take place at all in that method. It took place in, a, in different time lapses. So there's, a, there's an effect or a condition that I think is um, extremely significant with regards, to, with regards to longevity and the evolution through periods of time produce a compositional technique that has a completely different effect in the, the continuity of the form that's being uh, explored. So composition in that particular case has, has uh, increased its evolution in that respect. Of course, there are other forms that I've experienced, such as, as this one. Uh, here's here's a, a system that came from this effect. that the first section of this was this theme. So when it came from this, second section evolved into this. It's now been extended from this. And then it goes on and repeats. Only this time it does this. Thank you. 
while the third time turns into this. Let's consider now the three different sections and how they've evolved. The first was this. The second was this. Now the third is this. And it continued. I did an album uh, for Muse Records in the 70s. And in that was a song called Both Sides Now. Well, this composition, when it reached this, I used the technique from the 70s and did this. entire composition then was the joining of all of these separate pleasures. Each was a pleasure. So unlike the normal way of composing, which is a study in itself in terms of formal uh, musicianship, this is a completely different, uh, a completely different experience. It's it's one of pleasure, and it causes me to enjoy the guitar and to extend that enjoyment over longer periods of time. And what is heard publicly, then, is the result of those sections of enjoyment. Uh, to me, the enjoyment is more important than the architecture of the structure. And they come about uh, in, in ways that are sometimes extremely uh, surprising. When I, I had a brain operation, and at the end of that, the first time I picked up a guitar, my first composition, if I can play it on this, because it's very difficult with an electric guitar with some of these for finger style. So here, for instance, this was the first composition that I, I, I got involved with, enjoying. And it, it went like this. <laughs>
was the study of a minor seven sharp five chord. <laughs> So when this happened, there's your seven sharp five, minor seven sharp five. Again, 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 again. Again, again. So it's the use of, of a specific device that provided uh, interest and uh, enjoyment to explore and see how many different ways it could be done. And that's what it did.